Assalamualaikum and hi to all lecturers. My name is Muhammad Azim bin Ruslan and my magic number is 194627. Today I'm going to talk about the architectural style. First of all, I want to talk about mobility. Mobility is an action to move or be moved freely and easily. So, based on the studies, when we talk about elderly, it is always related to the decreasing of the physical capability where they easily get tired and not capable of doing heavy activity frequently. Therefore, the basic idea of this building is to design an elderly center that friendly approach and the ability to move between different levels. This can be shown where every space is oriented can centralize to the scout yard. Therefore, this elderly center will be the place where they could socialize among the elderly. So the idea of the courtyard is something like this. This is uh, one or uh, some of the uh, president studies that I really look really look into it. The courtyard itself is conceived of main staircase, main staircase that is connected directly to the every spaces in the building. This is related to my concept and issues to easily the circulation of this building. So basically, the building that I designed is divided into three spaces, which is accommodation administration, and also activity and services. So these three spaces is located near to the main staircase at the center of this main staircase, which is connected to, to three spaces. Thus, it will be easy the user to not walk too far. So, the purpose of two admins the purpose of administration is placed in the middle between accommodation and activity services because to easier the caretaker to manage the elderly and for the curvy facade and for the curvy facade i was inspired by the building of Haida Aliyev Center in Baku, Azerbaijan, that designed by Zaha Hadid, where the building is known for the curvy facade. Yes. Second, the architectural style of the louvers implemented in this building is uh, was taken from the Milanao Fiori Residential Complex, designed by Eric Van Aguirre as the inspiration. The idea of placing louvers around the front area is to reduce the sound pollution that coming from the school, which is exactly next to the side A. So this is so this is my front elevation. Based on the front elevation, you can see the curvy cladding from the right to the left from the right elevation to front elevation and this is my left ele and this is my left elevation which i will follow the language of roof design same as front elevation and this is my rear and right elevation both of these elevation will follow the design of louvers from the front elevation. So we're moving on to the ground floor plan where the activities area are located. As such, there are two table tennis room at this area and also the electric bicycle track. It is a track for electric bicycle so that the elders who cannot cycle, they can 
ride this bicycle and the and it is electric help to help the rider cycle easily so that it will trigger the elders to still having an activity and exercise so for the first floor the place for yoga and zumba are provided for the elders to do meditation exercise also included the traditional area which the elders can remind their golden old time by playing the traditional games the activity at the second area second floor is the social and activity area which is if all if ngo or even a club will come and do their program this is so this is the place to them for them to enjoy the activity with the elders there is also a viewing deck here to uh, for the elders to relax to relax and enjoy the view of the bridge and the river facing here for and for the third floor the biggest viewing deck here is provided to the elder to enjoy the view of Putrajaya bridge and river they also can read a book that provided in the library which is this is area of the library mini library which is just next to the viewing deck this is to encourage them even if they are old they still can have chance to read a book that's all for me. Thank you.